let's go see the telephone works again. Okay, so that was the reason we had to crack open the wall. Holy shit. Let's just say, without the guides, I would have not been able to play the game or have to check everything and do random shit, but yeah. Stupid. Just, 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 I'm just gonna say it. I am stupid. I am 100% stupid. But I'm thinking too much into things. Alright, so he says check up on something. So he's probably gonna mean me to go back to the phone. Let's also check the time and then say. Justice and Jester Grand for that one. 3 p.m. That'll mean the time has passed, so the phones should work. Yes. Jerry! Attic newspapers then? In Barbara. Yes, son. I don't know any other phone that calls. Just try Jerry again. Jerry is gone. Jerry is sleeping with fishes. How do I? How do I figure out his thingamajig? The only thing that I'm thinking of is. Yannick newspapers. Because that will say that he was still around and not. Maybe we have maybe we have a phone book. Maybe something? Do we have a phone book with us? Oh. May 1963. Okay, that's the news. Okay, that's not Um August. Yes. Sad news hit our beloved town today following an announcement that was received. Rejoicing amongst many that one of the most illustrious was having a child soon. We now have a rel have to relate a macabre turn of events. The son that was being a lovely way to black died shortly after the delivery due to strange ailments. Understandably, the information disclosed about this happening was succinct. Where's the Mrs. Catherine Blackwood was already suffering from pains in her stomach. Probably an indication that there was something not healthy about her pregnancy. Dr. Christopher Milton, who attended the birth, assured us that he made every possible effort to ensure a safe delivery. But with bowed head, he said that the boy was already doomed ever since his conception. The cause of that has not been stated. But those few close to the Blackwood family have said that there were serious complications during the delivery. Helping to relieve that somber news, Mrs. Blackwood, yeah, Mrs. Blackwood was thankfully found to be out of danger. Her husband did not wish to comment about the event. Egan was driving his one was held by the eight armed and masked man. Later, the a huge disappointment quickly gave way to an empty, void feeling. Something wasn't right here. You're wondering if Jess Blackwood was somehow involved with the death of his son. Yeah. Maybe. So what next? I guess the deep inside myself, I knew the reason why, but I, I had to make sure. The Blackwood's son died a long time ago, which is probably the reason why the room was bricked up. The thing that is not clear is whether the child was born dead or died shortly after delivery. How are we supposed to figure that one out? There was a birth certificate, so... He was alive. Though, maybe, miscarriage. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna try one thing. Is he interested in writing? <laughs> Perhaps it was time to do some work. Yes! Let's go, it's time to do some work. Ah, oh, finally. Ah, oh, let's go. Work. Right. Cool. 
Let's see them. So only she stopped and stood there paralyzed, hesitant to give any credit to what her eyes were seeing, and completely unaware of the potentially dangerous situation. Surprisingly, there wasn't anything unusual or strange about the event. Little Cassie was hastily crossing the living room towards a huge oak door. Her fancy black dress fluttering at every footstep. As the girl reached the door knob, she turned to look back at Marianne and urged her with a whisper to hurry up. But Marianne wasn't seeing Kathy. Her memories haunted her back in displaced reality. Giving room to the nightmarish vision she had spent months trying to forget. Ever since her first visit to the old house. In her dream, she saw the little girl also wearing the blank dress. Emerging from a passageway hidden in the room. She'd never actually managed to glimpse where the passage was. When he saw the girl running towards her, her small face contorted in a horrible grimace. Marianne quickly realized it was a twisted version of the Cassie she would knew later. As if her figure was then distorted by a veil of smoke, her exact movements through the room, reaching for the knob, facing her back. Those were too many coincidences to ignore. It wasn't a nightmare that she experienced that day, nor a ghost. Something she refused to believe in, but was now willing to blindly embrace as the truth, given the shocking vividness of the vision. The ghost would come from the past. What he'd seen, what she'd seen came from the... Her thoughts were interrupted as a figure behind her cast a shadow across the doorstep. You felt a liar. You betrayed me. Discoveries I had made in the house were too exciting to stop now, but I thought maybe I could rescue for today and return to work tomorrow. A oh, bastard. Such an asshole. Fine. I just wrote a few words for my book, but I'm far from satisfied. It sounds too much like cheap writing. What's worse, I realized it all the time while I was working. I was in reality thinking about the Blackwood mystery. There's no point to it. I just can't do it. I can't write. At least not until I solve the mystery of Blackwood Manor. Great! It was work. So what now, Mr. Black? M Mr. Michael? What's your plan now? What is the plan? Wait, uh, check, check the time, check the time. 5 p.m. Cherry? Here? Yes. 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 Jerry, it's me. You won't believe what I've found here. Try me. It's about the happenings that led to the murder you told me about. There's an impressive backstory surrounding this place and many loose ends. It would seem nobody ever stumbled upon this. Shouldn't you be working on your book? Are you listening to me? James Blackwood was into some very weird stuff and possibly dangerous. Something tells me this case is much more complex than it was thought to be. Why don't you inform the authorities? I'm sure they'll be dying to reopen a long forgotten case about some crazy old psycho killing his wife. No way. And miss all the fun? I'm doing this on my own. Hmm, I wonder if those noises I heard have anything to do with this. Maybe James Blackwood was trying to hide something. Like in that book, where an old man was guarding the entrance to hell. I bet this James Blackwood person had a doorway like that in his basement. Those dreadful noises must be the sounds of the damned coming for you. Why, thanks, mate. That's been very helpful. Great to have friends like you. Then stop talking about all this nonsense. Do you have any idea how crazy it sounds? You're a writer, not some fancy P.I. I'll get to the bottom of this. I know I will. I'm certain there's much more to James Blackwood than a simple act of murder. Now you're sounding more morbid than usual. Simple act of murder? Oh, goody. Just somebody died. Nothing to worry about. This isn't like you, Michael. This whole thing is really affecting you. Stop being a drama queen. I'm a grown-up, and I'm pretty aware of what I'm doing. Chase around the ghosts of James Blackwood. I'll stay here in the real world. I'll let you know about my progress. Here we 
golem again. No. Alright, uh, so what next? Guess I'm done for the day. The many adventures that left me tired, so I'll be heading back to battle late today. I have a premonition, though. I think that tomorrow will be the day I'll make great progress, resolving the backward mystery. I just know it. I hope so. We're gonna get a nightmare, and I'm gonna get stuck in the guides. Just, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna give you what was gonna happen. Just gonna give you that. I lay down on the bed. I'm falling for a nightmare. There we go. Something didn't feel right. But what doesn't feel right? What doesn't feel right? Uh, this isn't nightmare. He's just awake at night. Great, I hate being awake at night. Don't hear anything. Dull. Good try. Just in case it's safe, the game really hates that place. Now it's like 12 a.m. I assume. Yes. 12 a.m. As I said, it's Monday. I can talk to Barbara in the morning. What? Great. Music is gone. Great. 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 Am I supposed to like this? The mask is gone. I'm not gonna like this, am I? <gasps> this is <gonna> <laughs> A feeling. Once again, I'm awakened during a. It was a dream. Oh, fucking hell, it was a dream. I didn't like the dream at all. Again, the scratching sounds. What could possibly be causing them? We better hurry up and look into this before they stop. Is he, um, 
high enough to go into the basement now? I want to. Why he asks me? Wait. No, I, I'll have to check that. I'm gonna check the basement first. Wait, but one. Uh, ear of. Let's do. Now get scarce. Oh, I saw someone. I didn't want to leave the house at this time. It was very chilly enough inside. What will he say? I hate him. I really hate him. Where's this coming from? There? There. Oh, how I hate you. Great. Well, there's the bottles. He wants me to go in there. Ooh, weird man. What is that? Are those hands? Oh, it's in room. seen a vision. Park to being tired. Child, I'm bound to expect strange occurrences. Whilst wandering at midnight through the crepid old house, but the cold sweat on my sword forehead was brought me to a sense and it was very real. So what now? Just scratching a stump? How do I get back? How do I get how do I get out? Inside the lamp had been consumed. Oh, man. Oh, no. It must have something to do with the crib. So something in the crib is spooky.
to confuse things straight in the slide, it's almost against my will to return the bats. This music is making me nervous. Let's go to bed. Let's go to bed. There's no, there's no one there. There's no one there. There's no one there. There's, there's no one there. Mask is, is, is a dick. A mask is a dick, that's for sure. I went back to bed. <laughs>